born in Colombia and I come from a family that uh, didn't practice the faith very much. I don't remember ever reading the Bible with my family or praying the rosary and um, going to mass was was more of a social thing and then uh, when I was a teenager um, I went through a hard time uh, my parents got divorced and uh, it was very tough for me it was thanks to a friend of mine who took me to a prayer group and that's where I first learned to pray the rosary and and God has you know, great plans because he knew that I was going to need that down the road. So um, later, uh, when I was 19, I became pregnant. It was a very tough time in my life. Um, it's not easy to be a teenage mom. However, my husband and I, we decided that uh, we wanted to find happiness. We wanted to, to be independent. Um, our family back then at the same time they were having financial issues my mom was a single mom at that time divorced and my father-in-law he has lost his job so it was like the worst time to come with this news of a new baby at home however um, my husband and I we decided that we wanted to be rich we wanted money we wanted power we wanted to be independent and happy so we decided yeah so we decided to come to the US looking for the American dream and um, and we came to Boston first, and we lived there for several years, and it was wonderful. We enjoyed those first five years in the U.S. Then we moved here, and um, he got a new job. And about five years ago, uh, our marriage we started having problem problems in our marriage. Um, I can't, I was not happy with my life in general. I was getting depressed. That led me to anxiety. I was not a happy woman. I didn't want to be a mother. I didn't want to live here. It was tough. And it was not the weather, believe me. <laughs> it was not because of the weather. It was, it was a personal crisis where I had no meaning. I didn't find any meaning in my life. So I even thought, because my faith was so weak as well, I even thought that maybe I could start finding joy or happiness in other churches and it was very attractive to me you know those churches where people sing and dance and have fun so it's kind of my personality as well so I said maybe I could find happiness there and uh, and before I started shopping because I thank God I never got to do that one day I came to mass with the kids and my husband and I just started weeping felt so like sick in my soul I it was the first time that I actually surrendered I surrendered and I remember that um, I think it was during the prayer of the faithful when when I just felt the need of just placing my name there just saying my name out loud and say Adriana Alvarez is sick as well and I started asking Jesus Jesus who are you because remember, I've never touched a Bible before. And we brought the kids to church because we knew that was like the right thing to do. And that was what everybody else did for their kids. So, so we did that with our children. But at the same, in our own home, we didn't even practice the faith. So I remember that day I was crying and asking Jesus, who are you, Jesus? Um, everybody says that you healed the people, that you that you were so merciful, that who are you? How did you look? How was your personality? Who were your friends? I want to know you. If you are the Prince of Peace, reveal to me and heal me. So, four years ago, something beautiful happened. I received a big gift from God. An image of the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared in the mirror of my bathroom. It is a very small image, and it's a beautiful image. It's, you can see her profile, and it's the Blessed Mother holding her son, um, Jesus, like the deceased, like an expression of maybe she's praying, maybe she's interceding, and she's looking at a big cross. So this happens while I'm there brushing my teeth, and I didn't know what, what was happening. So 
after a couple days of just looking at this image and it never went away and asking my family, my children, my husband who did this and nobody knew about this, like we were all surprised. I decided to come to Father Kevin and, um, and I said to Father Kevin, Father Kevin, well, this is what was happening before. This is where I come from emotionally and everything. And I started asking God for help and signs and this sign happened at home and other little manifestations as well happened during that week. And I said, Father, all this is true. This is happening. And I'm not, he not here to ask you this is true or not. I'm here because I need you to help me to be a good and a real Catholic. He said, okay, well, let's start with baby steps. <laughs> because to me, it was very hard, actually. So he said, well, let's try um, to start with confession. And after that, uh, try to come to Mass more often, hopefully to daily Mass, and start praying the rosary every day if you can. And we're going to help people as well. We're going to um, be more generous with our time, with those in need. Um, we're going to start reading the scripture, hopefully every day. When, when I started having, starting having this conversion, well, my family thought I was crazy, especially my husband, because I turned into another woman. And it was not easy on our relationship. It was, it was very tense, because I became a different woman. All of a sudden, I, I felt all this interest in those sacred things. I started reading the, the lives of the saints. I wanted to come to daily mass. I started coming to adoration which I didn't know what that was before. I started coming to adoration. I started feeling this huge peace, this desire of praying at home, this desire, this hunger and thirst for Christ. So of course, every time that I, that I talked about God or I invited the children or the family to pray the rosary, well, everybody was just kind of hiding away from me. Every, every time I said like, okay guys, let's try to pray together as a family. Let's pray the rosary or something like, no mom, I have too much homework. No, I have to go to my friend's house. I have a lot of work. So. At the beginning, it was a little hard for me because um, I felt very lonely and I thought they're actually thinking that I am crazy. It was not my job to convert my family. As you know, it's, it's by God's grace that conversion happens. It's, it is a grace. Um, and I understood that God will have a time for each of them. But I have to say that I feel very, very blessed and very thankful with God because in this, this, these past four years, um, my family has become so close to God. Today, we, we read scripture together, we pray the rosary, we come to mass. My favorite Bible verse is a Luke 15, um, the lost sheep. When I read that verse for the first time, I totally identified with it because I felt I was that lost sheep. Um, you know, when, when the shepherd is taking care of his 100 sheep and, and, and he loses one, that was me. I just lost it and, and, and this shepherd leaves all the 99 sheep just for one. It, and he did that for me and that's what God does with us. And and I have to say that I feel, I feel very, very blessed today because uh, when my conversion started, it was I felt this huge mercy. The, he poured his mercy. He poured his love on me. And, um, and I'm very grateful for that.